Hey, g'day guys, it's Nick Hill from Canine Care. In this video, we're gonna look at the top three common problems when using food in training and how to avoid them. <music> Problem number one, numero uno, and the most common one I come across is show me the money. Very simple problem to get started with, also very simple to fix too. Here's why it happens. Every time we ask them to sit, we have food in our hand, in this case currency, because food is currency for dogs. Watch the previous video. They get used very quickly to following our hand only when there's food in it. They haven't learnt how to just follow our hand and then get paid from our other hand. Really simple problem and easy to fix. So how do you fix it? Well, what you do is this. The first time you ask your dog to sit, sure, you've got food in your hand, you want to lure them into that sit position, but the second time you do it, you have no food in your hand, and then you just pay them double from your other hand, and they very quickly learn to follow your hand and not just follow the money. Simple fix to a simple and very common problem. On to problem number two, visual laws or bribes. When we're training our dogs, we must be careful not to have a big bag of food in our hand. Food is worth money to dogs. There are over 100 biscuits in here. If each of these was worth $10 to Shanty, this would be worth $1,000. And if I was walking around with $1,000 floating around in Shanty's face every time I was training her, and suddenly it wasn't there, she would be very confused about what to do. So don't have a bag of food in your hand when you're training your dog. Get them to follow your gestures without all this floating around. Don't need it. Work sharp, be smart. Let's keep going. So guys, on to our third and our last little problem around using food in training. This is about using food exclusively all the time and not knowing when or how to vary the reward ratio. When you vary the reward ratio is when your dog has good fluency in a behavior. Then you can make use of your other motivators which can be verbal praise, good dog, physical affection, give them a stroke somewhere they like, or play. But be mindful of play, it can get young dogs really excited. Every dog is wired differently. For some dogs, food is followed by physical affection very closely. For Shanty, food is followed by play real quick. Those are her two prime motivators. Learn how to use the ones that work best for your dog and use them as often as you can. This is getting ridiculous, Willie's back. I'm editing a video in the office and he's just let himself into the house and wandering through and making himself right at home. Hope you found this video useful guys, look forward to seeing you next time around. Thanks for watching.